Good morning, St. Louis. Welcome to another stop on the STL Donut Tour. Today's donut destination is our second visit to Daylight Donuts in Chesterfield. We last visited Daylight in Chesterfield back in Season 2, Episode 22, during their grand opening, and said we would check back in with them after they'd been around for a little while. So today, we're back at Daylight in Chesterfield to see how different they are from last week's donut destination, Daylight Donuts in Granite City, Illinois. Both donut shops use the same flour from the Daylight Donut Flour Company, but that's where the similarities end. Daylight Donuts in Chesterfield offers a huge variety of classic and fancy donuts with toppings that you won't find at other donut shops. Daylight Donuts in Chesterfield also has a convenient drive through and they're open late. Now, let's take a closer look at those Daylight Donuts. Starting off today, we have the Glazed Raised, an incredibly light and soft donut with a nice glaze and great overall flavor. This Daylight Classic is buttery, yeasty, and sugary delicious with a real nice chew to it. This one's an A-plus in my book. Next up is the Chocolate Iced Devil's Food Cake Donut, which is also glazed underneath that thick, fudgy icing. The cake itself is super rich and moist with an intense chocolatey flavor. The glaze under that icing is an added delight giving this donut even more sugary sweetness. Another fantastic donut from Daylight Donuts in Chesterfield. Following that, we have the Sour Cream Old Fashioned. This donut has a lovely golden shine and a thick sugary icing. The cake is a little dense and creamy, a perfect match for a cup of coffee or a glass of milk. I love the texture contrast here, there's a nice crisp crunch to the glaze, and the cake has such a soft, creamy texture. This is a damn fine donut. Right on the heels of the sour cream old-fashioned comes the chocolate version. This was one of my favorite donuts at today's stop. Beautiful look, great flavor, fantastic texture. You've got to get one of these if you visit Daylight Donuts in Chesterfield. I really love this variation and wish more shops would do this. And up next we have a glazed French cruller. This donut really surprised me today. It has a unique form with thinner ridges on the top and a flared bottom. I was not expecting this level of airiness. Just a real fluffy lightness with this thick crisp shell of a glaze. Has a real rich buttery flavor overall and a melt-in-your-mouth softness. This was another one of my favorites from today's stop. It has been far too long since I've gotten a maple bacon long john, so I had to remedy that today. The long john is buttery and soft with a light and sturdy texture. The maple icing has a good, strong maple flavor and is some of the best maple icing I've had on the tour. The bacon bits were a little small and there weren't that many, but there were enough for a nice light crunch and a little flavor. Overall, this is a soft and delicious long jump. Following that is the glazed raspberry jelly donut. The Bismarck on this is super soft and buttery with a good color. Breaking it open, we find a good amount of a deep, dark, rich, seedless black raspberry filling. I really love this donut. After that we have the elusive bear claw. I haven't found many of these on the tour so far, but the ones I have found have all been different and unique. Daylight's version is a smaller sized claw made from their glazed raised dough and filled with a little bit of a seeded red raspberry filling. Totally different than what was in their jelly filled donut. Not a lot of filling there but it is really tasty. Hopefully you have a better luck of the draw and get one with a little more filling in it, but this one is still absolutely delicious. And it... Up next is a departure from the channel standard, 
but I just couldn't pass up the chance to try a blueberry fritter while they had them. This dark and lovely fritter is just bursting with flavor. Packed with whole blueberries and a light cinnamon flavor, this fritter has a texture to match its flavor. Perfectly soft and chewy on the inside, with a thick sugary glaze and deep golden brown fry on the outside, this fritter has the perfect texture contrast and was an absolute delight. And last but not least, we have a Daylight Donuts specialty in Chesterfield, the Pine Cone. This absolutely stunning piece of pastry art is soft and buttery with a light cinnamon sugar flavor layered with their thick sugary glaze. It's like a half cinnamon roll, half pull apart donut with a delicate flavor and a great texture. I love finding specialty donuts like this that taste as good as they look. Thanks for watching this week's episode. Make sure to click that subscribe button down below so you don't miss another donut destination. Join me next week as I tour another St. Louis area donut shop on the STL Donut Tour, where I'm looking for the gateway to the West through fried dough. Have a great day, everyone.